In modern warfare, air superiority is no longer just about speed or firepower. It is a contest between the invisible and the all-seeing, between stealth and radar, between the hunter in the skies and the shield on the ground. At the center of this debate lies a question that has divided military analysts for years. Can Russia's S-400 Triumph air defense system bring down America's F-22 Raptor, the world's first fifth-generation stealth fighter? For Russia, layered air defense has always been a cornerstone of survival. From the day a Soviet missile shot down the American U-2 spy plane in 1960, through the S-300 systems of the 1,980 seconds, the doctrine remained constant. Deny the skies, and you deny victory. Out of this philosophy came the S-400, fielded in 2007. The S-400 is not a single weapon, but a network. Its 91 N6E Big Bird radar detects targets as far as 600 kilometers away. The 92 N6E Gravestone engagement radar guides missiles with precision. Together, the system can track hundreds of targets from drones and cruise missiles to bombers and even hypersonic threats. Its missile family forms a layered shield, the 9M96 for close range, the 48N6 for medium distances, and the 40N6E for long-range interception. The 40N6E, flying at Mach 14, can reach 400 kilometers and altitudes of 30 kilometers, one of the fastest, longest-reaching interceptors in service. A single S-400 battery can defend an entire city, Yet, no matter how powerful, these missiles face one relentless adversary, stealth. Enter the F-22 Raptor. Conceived in the late Cold War and entering service in 2005, the Raptor was built to defeat exactly such defenses. Its sharp angles, radar absorbent coatings, and internal weapons bays shrink its radar signature to the size of a marble. Its engines allow supersonic flight without afterburners, known as supercruise and thrust vectoring nozzles give it agility that few aircraft can match. Its AN, divided by APG-77, AESA radar, provides long-range detection while minimizing emissions that could expose its position. Its weapons AIM-9X and AIM-120 missiles give it lethal reach. Yet its greatest strength is the ability to strike first, unseen. For Russia, the S-400 is spear and shield. For America, the F-22 is ghost and predator. But what happens when shield meets shadow? Imagine the confrontation. An F-22 slips into airspace guarded by S-400 seconds. At 400 kilometers, the radar sees nothing. At 200, maybe a flicker. At 70, a faint lock. A 40N6E missile launches, streaking skyward at hypersonic speed. The Raptor reacts instantly. Flares, chaff, jamming. Then, agility. The fighter banks hard, forcing the missile to bleed energy. It misses narrowly. Now, the hunter turns predator. From beyond visual range, the F-22 releases a long-range strike against the S-400 radar. Without its radar, the system is blind. But reality is never that simple. Russia would never rely on a single S-400. Overlapping radars, multiple batteries, and electronic warfare units complicate the picture. Systems like Krasuka can jam incoming weapons. Short-range defenses guard the battery itself. Likewise, the US would never send a lone fighter. Drones could act as decoys. Cruise missiles could soften defenses. And AWACS aircraft could guide the battle. The true clash would be system versus system. That is why experts remain divided. Some argue the S-400's radars and hypersonic missiles are lethal even to stealth fighters. Others maintain that the F-22's stealth, speed, and strike capability would dismantle the system before being threatened. What is clear is that both weapons embody doctrines larger than themselves. Russia's doctrine is defensive. Build anti-access zones protect borders, deny enemies the skies. America's doctrine is offensive. Break defenses, dominate airspace, and secure the initiative for the entire force. In Syria, where Russian S-400 seconds have been deployed since 2015, 
American F-22 seconds have flown nearby, yet no missile was fired. In Ukraine, the S-400 has been used against aircraft and missiles, but never against a stealth jet. The battlefield remains untested. And perhaps that is the point. These systems are not just machines. They are symbols. One represents Russia's shield, a promise that its skies cannot be violated. The other represents America's reach, a promise that no defense is beyond its grasp. Both are designed not only to fight wars, but to deter them. So who would win? The answer lies not only in hardware, but in timing, training, and strategy. A radar that sees first may fire first. A stealth jet that strikes first may never be seen at all. In truth, the F-22 and S-400 may never duel position. in open combat. I understand your concern. But their but silent the standoff already shapes how nations plan for war. And in that sense, the question is not which weapon wins, but how both force the world to prepare for the wars of tomorrow. The shield or the hunter? Perhaps the answer is neither. For in modern warfare, victory belongs not to a single weapon, but to the network, the doctrine, and the nation that wields them.